about the continuing resolution in the show and your proposed budget includes a lot of the revenue that the House Republicans cut the federal programs. Uh, are you counting on the Senate to put that money back in? We'll see what happens. If I if they don't, I'll adjust. Have you talked to anyone while you were here in the city about the federal program? Here's a camera. You can ask them for a picture of it if you want. Let's say turn on right here. Yeah, Secretary Sebelius has not been around, so we're okay. And he's going to the White House tomorrow for the work meeting? Sure. Yeah, I'll go tonight for dinner and tomorrow for the work meeting. What do you have to say? Yeah, what do you plan to say to the president? If you were here, I'd say it to him. I'll say it to you. So, Marcus, you said today that you cut space spending two weeks in a row. What's the have the state budget come down to Wait, sir? Which, Last question. Last question for now. Uh, the, uh, uh, there's a banner around that the billion dollar campaign in 2012. Which Republicans have the ability to organize and bring the to raise the money necessary to be President Obama? Who knows? I mean, I don't even know who's running yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, except for, except for the uh, Herman Cain. I mean, he's the only one who's announced it. So I don't know who's running yet, and we'll have to see. We'll have to see what kind of support he or she generates around the country. I mean, listen, remember something. You know, four years ago, Senator Obama was a little-known, one-term United States Senator from Illinois who was a few years removed from being in the Illinois State Senate. Um, I don't think anybody was sitting there saying he was going to outraise Hillary Clinton. So you don't know what happens. Leadership matters, and who the candidate is matters, and how they articulate their views matters. And it can start a firestorm in the country the way the president did um, when he was running in, in 2007 and 2008. So, you know, everybody who's sitting here now and trying to predict this stuff is really just, you know, shouting into the wind. You don't know what the political climate's going to be like. You don't know how folks are going to articulate it or even who's going to run. So the one thing we know for sure is the president's running for re-election. And we'll see what happens on the Republican side. But I'm certainly in no position, any better than any of you, to handicap what's really going to happen. And so let's wait and see. I mean, you know, this is, you know, everybody's now trying to read the end of the book before you read the book. I was taught when I was a kid that wasn't fair. One, the right way to do it. Read the whole book, then we'll find out. Thank hey, sir, you. sir, what message do you have for the terror cells we have running around the U.S.? Oh, All right. Yeah, I'm going to see my Where are we going? Are you going to Sure, yeah. Yeah. Ask him for the photo. Sir, sir. Ask him for the photo. Go ask him. Ask him. Oh, sure, buddy. Yeah, we Thanks, thanks, thanks. You got Donald the Donald has to decide that for himself. Thank you, sir. Mr. Christie, any message of the terrorists we have running around the U.S., especially in New Jersey, please? I did a lot of work with terrorists for seven years as U.S. Attorney. Thank you.